I now call for Edna Fondua. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Palo vipi vahetol ves nima moyono. Falala ki egi ake ai koto o holoto pe o e faki ki hopoto o o. Ke ke faraho ki ateia i ho hala koto pe pe a faka tonu tonu eia i ho ngahi alunga. Malo le le ko hoku hingoa ko etina funua. Kiora and hello there. My name is Edna Fanua and I am the youth MP for Mungakeke. I would like to focus on the housing crisis that our country faces today. This issue is very relevant, especially to our societies and our youth today. As we all grow up and as we all will grow up and want to own our own homes. But with the circumstances of the housing market today, this is becoming more and more difficult. And this is an issue I am passionate about. I would like to focus on the housing market, especially in Auckland, where according to the Auckland City Council, Auckland has the highest median price in the whole country, where in the past, house prices in Auckland have tripled, and recently, in the past five years, house prices have risen by 35%. As a result of this, a growing number of Aucklanders are unable to buy a home, and this puts those unable to buy homes at a huge disadvantage. Home ownership rates have fallen to an all-time low of 65%. Māori and Pacifica have also not seen an increase in home ownership in the past 30 years as well. If Aucklanders are to enjoy the security of owning their own homes, there are some major changes that need to be implemented onto the housing market. Making meaningful, meaningful change can be challenging, and it will take time to implement, but it definitely can be done. Since the housing crisis has existed within our country for decades, there is not one or two actions that will fix this issue. In order to help solve the issue, there are a number of solutions that need to be proposed in order to tackle this. A solution that could be suggested, for an example, from the supply perspective, would be that cheaper and faster off-site manufacturing needs to be frequent in order for houses to be built quickly and to be built at a reasonable price. The investment for infrastructure also needs to be increased in order to help sustain a livability throughout cities. Another possible solution would be for the government to focus on making changes to the Resource Management Act, which will then, follow, which will then allow for residential properties to be built at a much larger scale and built at an affordable price as well. We also need to free up land and also resort back to, to prefabricated building methods and build in greater density in areas that are close to public transport and motorways. For a change to be seen within our country and our communities, the government needs to focus on this issue of the housing crisis and focus on making changes on laws, putting action behind the proposals in order to make it easier for our communities and our people to have that security of owning their own home. Malo abito sito ofato. Thank you. I call Grace Pickering. <laughs> 